Man, you know, I'm glad you decided to ask me about that. Yeah, I did. Man, I was messing with this chick uh-huh. in Atlanta. Mm. Yeah, man, it was it was rough. You know, I was spending all my little money going out there. Mm, times hard. This was this was pre nine eleven, so tickets was like fifty nine dollars. Easy money. Yeah, it wasn't even no spirit around. Nah, with no spirit, spirit nothing. Wasn't in the spirit. Air you train. Yeah, fifty nine dollar ticket. Air train. This one of the things where you knew you spent a plane ticket automatically. Sex was happening. You oh, didn't yeah. have to worry. Oh yeah. You it know, was, right now yeah. you could buy a woman a ticket and it's still questionable. It's still on the yeah, still on the. I'm fix. like, once you leave the air, when you hit ten thousand feet, oh, the draws. Yeah, you the ain't need them. Made. They gone. Yeah, the decision. So made. I, I went out there one weekend. Back door came back the next weekend. I'm gonna drink. Go ahead, keep talking. Yeah. So uh, you know, I walk in the room. I get there. We don't. I don't. You know, took the taxi from. Ain't no Uber back then. Mm-mm. Took the taxi all the way to that little regular. They was rude. They could be rude. They was rude. Them niggas nice now. That's what they, they them Where you going? Nice in taxi now. You ever seen they, them? They gotta nice? be polite. Them niggas. The game they, changed. Niggas handing you waters now and shit. Them niggas ain't water. Water. Niggas watch. I watch the niggas watch three niggas perish in the back. Man, look. For the goddamn taxi. They got to be nice now. My bad. Keep but going. But they weren't story. nice that day. Okay, what They happened? hit me with the, where you going? Drive out. Uh, so I get over there, walk in there. You know what I'm saying? She already there naked. She asshole naked. Woo. It's one of them things where it's like, she's so naked. I know she done put some baby oil on. Oh, you know, she's like gliss- It's a light glisten. Yeah. Shea butter. I like shea butter. Hey. Shea, hey. And baby oil caused cancer. Yeah, baby oil caused cancer, mm-hmm. but shea butter. So I, I get in there, man. And before I can pull that thing out, get going. I asked, I said, did, did you, you miss, miss me? me? Bitches don't be missing, niggas. They don't be missing, niggas. <laughs> Bitches do not be missing, niggas, man. I feel good today, man. We drinking, man. We toasting, man. Hey, not inaugural. Only, it's not just any day, right? It's the birthday. It's the birthday. It's, it's the, the birthday show. It's the dun, birthday dun, show. Dun, right here, dun, dun. This, this is it. This is the first time, man, I can honestly say I have not felt freer. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel free. It's a good thing. You know, I ain't got to worry about how long this going to be. I ain't got to worry about did we make the point that we need to hit. You know, I ain't got to worry about, hey, I only got five minutes in the sketch. Take your we time. got time. Take your time. Like, we got I, 60 I got, minutes. I got time today, cuz. We got 60 minutes. See that L.A. rubbing off on you. I got boy. time today, cuz. First of all, let me, let me, let's, let's introduce ourselves. I'm D-Lay, everybody, uh, if you don't know, uh, and uh, my hilarious partner. Billy Surreals. He's from Houston. Now, Billy. Mo City. Now, listen. You got to throw the, the, the you, you, hey, shouts out to Mo City, though. Now, listen, yeah, Mo City. Uh, that's zero spot, right? Zero from there. Zero, zero King, from Keyron, King, Keyron. King, Keyron. Keyron. Uh, Mo City. Different times. Yeah, yeah. You know, what? it's like father, son, Holy that's, Spirit. I was just about that to ask you about. That was a trinity. Different layers to that. To the, the zero, uh, was, that was pre-9-11, too. You know? Right, right. <laughs> Let me tell you, I used to see zero walking. Playing was walking. Man, man walking. This is before the big chicks came. This is when he was just a nigga that could rap, right. you know, with the, with the hot boots on. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, Zero had on boots. Yeah. The nigga got money now. Yeah, I can tell they you that was, now. Hey. I was in the nigga van. You know the oh, nigga got a van. Hey. The nigga got an apartment inside his goddamn hey, van. Hey, that van? A luxury the apartment. Gladiator? That bitch. The Gladiator? That's what it's called? The Gladiator. We done, we, done, we done took some trips in that Gladiator. I sat in the car. He was like, come on down here and just chill out. And just... <laughs> We just gonna smoke and hang and Man, shit. Man, look, I'm telling you. We setting that bitch. We, I sat in the chair. The, the goddamn chair grabbed me. She said to her, nigga, this is comfort. Nigga. Hey, it's, a, it's a captain chair. You have not been in comfort. You got the this captain is, chair with the arm. I'm like, nigga, is this a lazy boy? <laughs> <laughs> in a not, van? In a van. Like, ooh, we in here. Cool cat. Hey, cool cat. He, he, got a, he got a 42-inch TV in, in, the, in, the, oh, in the van. This nigga got all this shit inside. Of a motor vehicle, you understand me? That's I don't know going how he down got the shit through DMV. The nigga got a kitchen in his goddamn van. Hey, look, I'm telling you. And guess it's not what? An RV. It ain't no RV. I said a van. The and in this van. van, you ain't gonna hear nobody else music <laughs> but his. <laughs> Let me tell you something, goddamn it. This nigga, <laughs> hey, don't, hey, don't ask what's out. You got that new Ross? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about Play that. Play my shit. It's, hey. You we, listened to him the whole time. Hey, we had a two-hour ride to Beaumont from Houston. It, it was. It seemed like it was only supposed to be a forty-five to hour minute ride. It was two hours because he got through his whole goddamn album. Look, we riding. We hit a little traffic, and that nigga went from track one to nigga thirteen. Who all with y'all? Who with you? It's me, uh, Carlos Miller. Shout out to you, uh, Nate Jackson. Nate Jackson. And who else was in that van? Nigga, that was it. Me, Carlos Miller, Nate Jackson, Ernest. You was there. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who else was there. Ernest Crosby. He, you listen to his music the whole way. Nigga, he hit that. He get but it. But he got good music. Like you could. I mean, but he got good music. Like oh, it ain't a problem. 
I'm but just still, gonna, you just not prepared for it, right? Because in your head, you you subconsciously like, oh, that was three back to back. We about to go to the radio. Right. <laughs> nah, nah, that boy finna. Yeah, this this other one right here. He gonna give you the whole prep. It's concert. It's full on. It's a full on full concert. on concert. Yeah, this one right here. I came up in the studio, man. Them you know, bitch ass niggas out here hating on me. So you gotta tell them <laughs> what to do. Hit that old. I'm like, nigga, we in this all going full. And so. The thing is, I live in, we, you know, we live in LA. Yeah. So we smoke good weed. Mm-hmm. He wants to definitely let you know I got good weed to smoke. So he, I don't know how we got a rotation of four blunts with with six, with four niggas in the car. Mm-hmm. It's really crazy because I we could all just smoke the individual, but the fact that you smoking this whole and passing and getting another one right off is like, wait a minute, fam. What are we doing? Yeah, what you doing? And then, you know, so we high. I'm talking about we next level high. We coasting. We in this gladiator. This this big screen is on. And and we getting a full concert. Right. By the end of the time, we got to where we was going two hours later, nigga. We knew the whole album, nigga. <laughs> we, we knew it. We, we on, on, but see, we still had to go two hours back home. So on the way back. back. You got to listen to the album? <laughs> same. <laughs> same album. Start. The run same that thing album. back. <laughs> You think you in rehearsal with Frankie Beverly? You <laughs> Same for the three things. Give me them thirteen again. Run it back. You for the encore. <laughs> As it, but you know what? That's that's a different. Like being out in L.A., you don't get a. Ch- I don't get a chance to to um to me because I'm working. I'm where I don't get a chance to mingle with a lot of people. But you get a chance to see some people that you kind of you looked up to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who's some of the people you think like? You've seen that you kind of like. God damn, that's my motherfucker. Because like, I'm gonna tell you, like I'm gonna tell, I, I saw Halle Berry. I ain't. I saw Halle Berry and I lost it, goddamn it. Like hey. I never thought, I never thought I was like starstruck. Yeah. How'd you I, feel? Did you feel like you wanted nigga, to shoot your shot? I feel, nigga, I didn't think about no shot. I saw Halle Berry. You don't think about all that bullshit. That's just shit you talk to your friends about. Nigga, you ain't shooting seen, that shot. Nigga, if I seen Halle Berry, I do all, you ain't gonna do all, you ain't gonna do shit, nigga. You're gonna be stunned because that's Halle Berry, nigga. And you need to expect to see her. Hey, man. I'm coming down, not Meryl, Sunset. I got a, a 1999 Mazda Protege. Six two six. She, you know, she ain't fuck with me in that vehicle like that. But I mean, it, riding down the sunset, I look to the right, and it's a Thunderbird. She's in a Thunderbird. You know them little. Oh yeah. Was it drop top? It was drop. Top so was drop. I'm at the light. Was it electric blue? What color it was, was it? It was red. Ooh. It was red. I look to the right. She looks over and she does this. Nigga. What was you thinking? Nigga, she's who she talking to? Is she talking to you? Who the fuck is she waving at? She waving at I knew it wasn't nobody else over there because that's sidewalk. Ain't nothing else over there but sidewalk. She had to be looking at me. So I was like, by the time I gathered myself to speak, nigga, the light turned green. She drove the fuck off. Niggas is blowing at me. Go, go, go. And I pulled over to the side. I called my sister. I said, I said it happened. <laughs> <laughs> she that? said, you got a deal? No, no. bitch. That ain't got no deal. I got I got to see Halle Berry. She was like, are you serious? Like, I said, like, I've never been starstruck before. You don't know what you can say the shit that you, you know, how you can respond. But nigga, I saw Halle, and that's the first and last time I've ever been starstruck. But I was just like, she, nigga, she waved, and I ain't got no way of proving none of this shit. Like, hey, you no, know what? That's the thing. Before pre-internet, you yep. ain't got no way to prove this shit. I got two stories about Beyonce. Both times. You ain't got no goddamn stories about no God Beyonce. Goddamn it, I got two good Beyonce stories. The third story no, gonna no, be a salon story. No, no, story. we're talking about a real occurrence. So like, let me not tell some you. shit that you just kind of you putting together, like you how you, you can push shit in your head and be like, oh, nah, this bro. really happened. I'm no. from Houston. First of all, let me explain something to you. So Houston's you rap a lot. Home of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pack the get a lot. Pack the get a lot. Yeah. You know what that is. Okay. I'm on it. Houston, Texas. Set the climate for you. Mm-hmm. The year is 2000. I'm at High Tower High School in Mo City. You know, we going in town, concert time downtown. Had an outdoor festival, St. John's. They got a little stage up. I don't, you know, really thinking too much of this because I go to another church, Windsor Village, which is not far from there. It's like our sister church. So we out there, kind of carnival atmosphere, chilling. Mm-hmm. I go inside to go use the bathroom. When I go inside to use the bathroom, I come out. Who I see in the hallway, they all lined up right there. Destiny's Child. Now, who are they? Are they are they America's this Destiny's Saint, Child? No, no. Or they this, this Houston is the, Destiny's, the Destiny's Child. Child. They Destiny's this, this, Child. This, this, this Destiny's Child. Child. This is still Matthew knows. I can still feel his cologne was in the was in prison. It's strong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Beyonce, Kelly, Latavia, Latoya, right there. And so off the bat, just tell you, 
We wouldn't check it for Beyonce like that. Who y'all check it H-Town for? H-Town niggas know. Who y'all check it for? If you see Destiny's Child, you, go you for. going for Latoya Lucky. Move, big Beyonce. What's wrong Move. with you? What's wrong with you? C- nigga, What's it, wrong with you? listen. What's wrong with you? Th- that's why they had to kick her out. That's why they had to kick Latoya out. Because it wouldn't be no Beyonce. It'd be Latoya Lucky, nigga. How? Why would you nigga, say Nigga, let me that's tell you. That's blasphemy. Nigga, you can't. Listen, man. This is 2000. This is straight off of them dealing with. Uh, is this nigga comparing Latoya Luck at the fucking the this, Beehive better hey man, see his ass right now? Hey man, hey, hey listen, real. Is beehive. this nigga comparing Latoya Luck? No disrespect, Latoya Lucky. I don't even know who you passed this. But <laughs> two thousand, nigga. Two thousand. Go ahead, bro. Fit. This nigga compared Latoya Luck at nigga in two thousand. Latoya Luck is this close from selling fucking Herbalife, nigga. It was. <laughs> listen, two thousand, nigga. 2000. I'm going to keep saying that. Okay, go for you it. You got to let know me, let me your hear. year. All right, 2000. You got to know who still was hot this time. All right, all right. Ja Rule's still hot right now. Ooh. Niggas didn't even know he out here, his shirt off. Yeah. Keep, keep it off. Yeah. Cut, nigga, cut all the sleeves you, off his you shirt. You coming off of DMX cooling off, off them two albums, this 2000. Yeah. Why Clef still hot? He put them on. Yeah. Ideal wasn't even really all the way. Man, I'm giving y'all too much Hold R&B. Hold up. Get to the point that this girl, everybody check. So. Beyonce right there, I'm, uh-uh. Hey, hey, Latoya. Ain't nobody, you ain't looking at Beyonce. Let me tell you. Let me tell you who right there, right by. Ooh. Her mama, Latoya mama go everywhere. Hey, Miss Lucky, I just want to tell you, I appreciate you, everything you done done for me, if you hear this. <laughs> I got number love and respect for y'all. Gavo, number love and respect for brother Gavin. He make beats. He cool. Uh, so, man, I go in the full Mac mode, my little young ass. Latoya mama. It's a little cute little boy right here. What you doing? I'm like, I'm finna go to college. I'm almost, I'm about to be grown. They start laughing, gave me that cute laugh. Mm-hmm. She sent me with the, yeah, you get a little older. Yeah. And I had Fuck that, that lust eye she after that. 2000. Fuck with me. 2003. Well, actually it's 2000. I think it's about to be 04. Cause this is the weekend of All-Star. I'm in the airport in Vegas. Who I see? Beyonce, Kelly, Michelle. Okay. Full on. I walk right up. This time, I'm talking to Beyonce. I come up in the airport. No phone, no nothing. Hey, where y'all going? Y'all going to L.A. too? Because I'm coming out here trying to get my shit off. Right. Yeah, we're going to L.A. We finna go first. We finna go do this shit at this game, and then we gonna come to L.A. after. I'm like, nigga, bet, bet. But shit, when y'all get out there, hit me up. Wrote my number down. Right. Still no cell phone. Nigga wrote the number. Listen I to did. it. I did. I wrote Listen that number down. Listen to old. I'm going to write my number down. Wrote the number down. What the fuck did you say? I said I'ma write my number down. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> you write numbers, nigga. You don't listen. Enter them. If you in Vegas in the <laughs> airport and they got all them little slot machines, they had a slot machine right next to a little daiquiri hood. I don't know if it's still there, but I'm in that daiquiri hood. I took that daiquiri hood napkin. I wrote that number down. I said, hit me up. I got them nights on weekends free all this weekend. Yeah. Hit me up. Nothing. Still waiting exactly. on that call. Still waiting. <laughs> and my part of me thinking, you know, maybe they hit me. I didn't know the number did hit them right back. I was in the air. Missed all them calls. Yeah. Never yeah. really know what really happened it after that. It could hit you. It could hit you. Last story. 2008. Solange birthday party. So we in the Museum of Fine Arts in Houston. My homeboy Energizer DJing. So I, I'm full on. You know what that means. I'm sneaking in. That's what that means. Mm-hmm. Beyonce, it's a Solange private birthday party. Lil Wayne is there. He performs. He gets on stage and says, I just want y'all to know I love Solange inside and out. At that point, I pretty much knew Lil Wayne was fucking. That's inside what I knew. Inside and out. That's, that's what I, I assume. You don't go up on stage in front of yeah. a whole audience. This woman's family is in here. And I just want you to know, I know Solange and I love her inside and out. Oh, in the most crazy. perverse way possible. And the crazy part is, play football against the baby daddy Daniel. Yeah. Houston dog. Legends was born. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga D. Cause you couldn't you couldn't stop that nigga in 03. Oh, let me tell you, really, 02 to 07 had a solid run. Nigga was a great wide receiver. Could have been something in D1 college, but he was Solange baby daddy. And he went platinum off of that. If that was a reality show then, he'd have it. Shouts out to my nigga Daniel. I don't uh, know how Daniel made it in here. Dang. <laughs> so, but the nigga in here. The nigga's in here. I got to right. give you the Daniel, context of this. I don't know how the fuck you got it in there, Daniel. So I look. I just heard about you. 
Like, mm-hmm. first of all, you can't just throw Daniel out there and then run. Nigga, who the fuck is Daniel? Look, who is Daniel? Nigga, I'm talking Mr. Miyagi, Daniel son is it a... No, nah, man. Daniel was wide receiver Madison High School. Still couldn't beat the High Tower Hurricanes. The point is I'm making is that he was cool. I knew who he was. So to hear this type of information was like, okay, I guess D... He D ain't got control of that no more. His shit's off the rails now. You don't know who, you don't know what's going on. Niggas out here saying, "Yeah, I know it inside it out." I, I want to call him. That boy said that. And say, "Lil Wayne got your bitch." I think. I think that's what happened. What if somebody did a speech and and said, you know, I want to give a toast to everybody, uh, especially my beautiful wife, uh, her her front mother, father. Uh, I want you to know that I love your daughter inside and out. That's that's how many that's I'm all up in there. Inside, if a nigga toast to me at my wedding and say, I love your wife inside and out, it's his wedding. I got to kill you. It's your daughter's wedding. I can't take that. Don't you say that. Listen, I want to say, Mr. Sorrell, thank you. Thank you for being such a gracious man to me and and taking me in as a son when you didn't have to do that. Right. Um, I want you to know that I will always be a provider and a protector for your daughter. She means the world to me. I love her inside and out. (laughs) This is the face I got. Cause the thing about it is, he just said he love your daughter inside and out. It's rough, bro. I can't. You want to put talking that? talking about a pussy. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. Okay. He's talking about your daughter pussy. You want? You want to put that in my head? I'm gonna just put the it nigga out with there. all sons. I, I just, I'm just telling you, man. I nigga. got four daughters, man. You want to put that in my head? You no, know, Wayne said it. It's a possibility that it can happen. <sighs> I love your daughter. I'm just. What would you do? What's your response? I mean, who paid for what the your response? You paid. paid for it. I mean, what you I, pay for being it. honest, I've accepted he and that thing. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's let me tell you something. See, and that's the thing, like, I like about having boys. I got boys I can talk to them. Because like, I ain't, like, man, I didn't grow up with that structure of uh, this is the birds and the bees. Like, I ain't get that type of, I didn't, nigga, let me tell you. My dad took me on a ride to Georgia. That's how I found out. A ride? Yeah, we went to tell you, I'll tell you how I found Nigga, out. my birds and bees story is quick. Quick. You know, my grandmother raised me. I'm sitting in there on a Saturday watching cartoons. I'm about eight. Yeah. I ain't even I ain't even really about that life. Right. I'm eight. Yeah. You know, I'm, you know. Me the, get hard, maybe. Yeah, but I don't know what that's about. I ain't, and ain't nobody talking to me about it, so I ain't even tripping. I'm just. You just letting it do what it's doing. It's doing that again. Let it do that again. Okay. But I ain't, I ain't even studying that. I'm sitting there one day watching cartoons on a Saturday, and my grandmother walk in the room. Hey! You fucking! <laughs> No man. You better not be your dick or fall off. Okay. <laughs> I ain't get that. So it's, I like having boys to be open and talk to them and just be like, hey. That's why I'm like, I, I, I'm sensitive to dudes that have female, I mean, daughters because I'm like, you know how you want to be the protector. You want to make sure everything right. But you know that other part of life exists where she can meet a dude that go rogue on her. You know what I mean? Like, you know, as a father, your goal is in this day and age, you just don't want your daughter to be the chick to get the train ran on. That's, you don't want her to be that girl. If you, what you're saying, you, you gotta, can't even stomach that. Yeah, you can. Because uh, somebody's daughter. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> somebody, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> I've systematically placed which one of my daughters I think might be the cholo. <laughs> I have to try to figure ah, out. It might be you. Ah, now, for the sake of this broadcast, I'm not saying which one I think it could be. But I definitely put them in chronological order of, of wholeness to least wholeness. And you got to do that. You got to think which one of your sons might go through your wallet and steal your shit. I, you know what? I, my boys, I like the fact that, like I said, I'm open with them. I can talk to them. I don't beat around the bush. We don't know bullshit. Be like, hey, this is what we don't go. Th- I talk to them real. I never talk to them with the Google guy guy. I talk to them straight, you know, because I want them to develop. I want them to be able to because kids are developing like a whole lot faster than what we would. Bro, let me tell you something. I saw a track meet. Yeah. No, I'm a high school track meet. And you was like, these grown women out here. I said, what is, it looked like a, like a adult ass track meet. A, you know, I'm looking at these, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? 15, 17, 18 grown ass women. What are we supposed to do? You're supposed to say, to clear this up for this broadcast, <laughs> that if I was in high school, I'd be tearing these young bitches up. No, I wasn't doing that in high school. I was a square ass, square ass dude. I wore, I was in ROTC. Oh, you, oh. Every Wednesday, I wore the ROTC uniform. We had Fridays. I did it my freshman yeah, year. After Every that, Wednesday. I couldn't fuck with it. 
them motherfuckers killed me with that that uniform on. They would tear my ass was y'all, wait, wait, were y'all like, out the frame, nigga. Was you a na- was you was you a navy or was it army? army? Woo! Oh y'all, y- wait, y'all didn't have what? Was y'all shoes black? Pull your shoes up, nigga. These niggas are fucking with me. My pants tight. The motherfuckers are high. I'm trying to tell these niggas this shit don't fit. It's army standard. I'm like, army need to set another goddamn standard because this shit is high. Your shit up there. Out there. And then, you know when you sit down, you got some shit. This shit look like goddamn it's way capris up now. And I'm sitting in there. But high school, um, where the fuck were we going with this? <laughs> I let you drive for a minute. We out here. We got to get back to the house. Uh... <laughs> We gotta get back to the career, big dog. We out here. We we already so, out there. We, might, we out here. So stay out there, then. Hi, okay. So we was talking about what we would have been doing in high school and how you wouldn't have did that. Then yeah, I wouldn't have did that. Watch me walk it back though. Then we I wasn't st- about we stepped back talking about how fine these girls. I wasn't about that life. If we was in high school, that's what we would say. And then we go back to being parents, me having daughters, trying to figure out which one would be the wholeness. Then we take another step back to Solange. At a birthday party, mm-hmm. and Lil Wayne saying he love her inside and, and out. out. Got that. Which leads Never me to that. say, I'm going to the bathroom again. Now it's museum. Don't exactly know my way around there. Mm-hmm. Hit a right, get some curtains, walk through, nigga. I end up in a whole nother part of the museum. I see some little paints on the wall. I'm like, bathroom got to be back here somewhere. Hit one more corner turn and go through some more curtains. Who do I see? First of all, this thing just whooped my ass. I don't know if y'all saw that. <laughs> I saw you struggling with it. This thing just whooped my ass. I saw you struggling ass. with it. Sorry I about that. Go ahead. I saw you struggling. Pull me a little bit off. That thing whooped the shit out of me. Hey, so at this point, I hit this next corner, and that's when I see him. On the table, in line, in the middle of a toast, is Solange, Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Lupe Fiasco. They big body guard was right there. Go in there. I'm going to tell you that right now. He, he don't. don't but he was at a birthday party. That nigga don't fit. go gotta, in there. I got to tell you, he was killing shit right then. This was Lupe. Okay, was okay. okay. You didn't get a year. You didn't give me the year. Yeah, this 2008. Okay, okay, same year. He on the... fire right now. Okay. That point, I'm standing in there. They done popped the bottle. They, it's a glow happening. You know, you said you froze up. I agree. When mm-hmm. you, you ain't finna do up. shit. This no, Beyonce and Jay Z right now. Right. This is a situation. It's royalty. I'm, I'm frozen. So I'm like, okay, I'm sitting here. They about as far as they are from us. So nobody's tripped out and said, who's this nigga? So I'm thinking to myself, I probably got a few more seconds before they finna throw me the fuck out. Right. So I, I didn't want to just say, ooh, my bad. I came in, I was like, ooh, I done fell in. And we kings are sneaking. That's right. what niggas do for most right. city. We sneak right. in the shit. Yeah. So I'm in there. I'm taking it in. Nobody's there. Got no camera. No, no way to document this shit. And I start realizing, I got to get the fuck up out of here for they embarrass me. Mm-hmm. I said, hey, girl, happy birthday. Love you, girl. Get up out of here. You said that to her? I said that to Salon. Did she know you? She said, hey. Wait, does she know you? It was, yeah. Wait, she wait. She seen me in passing. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Because you threw that head, like, hey, girl, look. You threw that motherfucker out there like, hey, you know, I talk to Because if I don't, I want to be in a position if I ran back in there. Right. I had to go get my nigga. You Somebody already identified. That. You remember me? I spoke I, I to you. I told you. I just told I you said, I love hey, you. Remember that? So you not finna throw a nigga a out there told you. That's a good one. Boy, hey. that's actually really goddamn good. Hey, so I said, hey. Hey, girl, I just want to tell you, happy birthday. I love you, all right? And she, all right, thank you. And then I walked out. So I hit that corner. I'm going to go find my nigga Energizer. He DJing. AC High, my other partner, he there. And Davin Tesno, another nigga. His name going to come up later on. Davin Tesno? Yeah, yeah you, he might say to Zeno, depending on what line he running <laughs> this day. So I get out to the music, right out to the main part of the party. You do sound like a scam artist. I don't even oh, know the nigga. Oh, he's definitely a scam artist. I just felt the nigga energy. I don't, just, hey, when look, you said uh, the nigga name, his energy came upon me. So we get there to the front. I say, Energizer, I just seen Beyonce and Solange. He hits me with the so. Looks at me. I'm like, all right, fuck you. I ain't telling you nothing else. Right. You're a, you're a hater. Right. So, because he just, he monotone, dog. Right. You know, unless it's something he's excited about. I see my nigga Dav. I say, Davo, got Solange and Beyonce back here. He where? I said, they in the back, chill, chill, chill. So you can be <laughs> calm. Like he set it up. Like, I, they already know we about to come back there. So everybody We're just go chill. Back there. Everybody shut the fuck up. Hey, so look, we start walking back the way I came. Made that right. Walked down the hallway, saw them paints. Made that other right. I go hit that curtain. I say, look, let me walk in first, make sure it's cool. And then you walk in. I say, count to three. Then walk in and then just walk straight to me and talk to me. I walk right in this point as soon as i walk in i don't know if somebody that already came in there after me right but now the bodyguard looking he got his hands like this right here so he's looking right at, at me when i walk in so i walk in i hit the hit the wall try to play it off 
Davin don't come in. Oh, so now yeah. he just standing Set there. You up. So now I'm just standing this there. Nigga, this hey, so look. So look. I'm standing there. I'm dying in this corner. Cause it's By a, yourself. Now you got Beyonce, Jay-Z, what? Solange. What are you doing Lupe in the Fiat. corner? So I'm in the corner being weird, just looking at walls and some bullshit on that ain't That ain't shit on the ain't wall. Nothing, ain't nothing to keep my interest. They can either occupy him. Right. It's just there. So Davin, what he does is he don't come in. He sticks his head in the curtain. So my old Beyonce closes it. Oh, out. this. So now I got to walk out awkward again. I'm like, oh, that nigga tripping. And I just walked out. <laughs> And I kept walking. And I was praying and it throw me out. But I'll never forget that, dog. Hey, man, let me tell you something. You, and sometimes the people you meet, because you see them as a character or whatever, and you kind of, you, you may admire that character, but that, that, that ain't the same person yeah. in real life. Let me tell you what happened to me. Where was you? I'm in Los Angeles, California. What year? I don't know. I've probably been in LA at this point maybe two years. But I'm performing at the Savoy Comedy Club. Yeah. Comedy. It's a, it's a club. They had a comedy night. And Tommy Davidson is closing out that night. Oh, shit. <laughs> Tommy Davidson? Tommy Davidson Tommy is closing out. Tommy motherfucking Davidson. And I'm like, you know what? I'm a, I'm a fan of his. I'm right. like, you know what? You know what? This is going to be dope. You know? So I'm on stage doing my thing. Had a great set. Finished my set. I come off stage. He greets me. What do he say? First of all, let me tell you how he greeted me. You remember Martin Varnell Hill? Yeah. Var Did hey, you class, miss me? Classic two episodes of Martin. He hit me with the Varnell Hill. He Varnell Hill. He Varnell Hill. Me but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's real. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I'm just like. Yeah. What, what, so I'm coming off stage. You know, I'm sweating. You know, I had just, just like maybe 20 minutes. I'm feeling good. I had a great set. I come off stage. He was like, "Bro, bro, wait a minute." So I said, "Give Tommy, get a good picture." Hold on, bro. Frozen. What's your name? I was like, oh, D-Lay. D-Lay, you on fire. Bro, you on fire. I'm like, is this nigga serious? Is this, I don't know if this nigga is, I'm trying to figure out. You trying to read him. I don't know. Because we work with niggas all the time. So you don't really you know, don't know what you're dealing with. You don't know so he said, D-Lay, D-Lay, man. Bro, you're set, man. It's like fucking hot, bro. Cook like baked clams, bro. Right. It's a fuck. This nigga is really Varnell <laughs> healing me. He Varnell healing you. He's fucking Bar But are you fighting the I Varnell? don't know if it's real. I'm like, maybe this is him being, j I don't know. Let's just be, he said, d like, man, I've heard that name somewhere before, bro. Where have I heard that name? I was like, actually, man, a promoter wanted to book us, a guy named Kenny. He's like, Kenny? Kenny. I know Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. Kenny what? Kenny Hill. Call him. <laughs> I was like. This nigga is really excited. Don't know if it's real. Yeah. Give him the benefit of the doubt. I don't know. So you. So I take out my phone. I call Kenny Hill. Right. He says, give me your phone, bro. He gets the phone. Phone goes to voicemail. Kenny, hey, what's up, man? Tommy here, bro. Hey, sitting here with D-Lay, bro. Hey, he says you want to do a show with us, bro. You want to do some tours, some dates. Hey, listen, go ahead. Hook that thing up. It ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. <laughs> this nigga is really Hit me, I was like, but you're now at this point, now I believe him. Now you know, now he I'm just like, called the plug for you. He, he called just the called the promoter. So I'm like, you know, this is, this is, you know, this is big. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just this getting to LA. This can change your shit. I'm just getting to LA. I don't, I don't know no goddamn body. I'm like, this is a motherfucking break. We about to go all over the goddamn world. So I leave. The next day I get a phone call. It's the, ki it's the promoter, Kenny. Like, so what you thinking when that phone ring? First of all, God is good. <laughs> Did That's what pray? I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, what, yeah, been what, praying. Been praying. So when you went, because you went home been that praying. night after he told you he want to fuck with you. Went home that night, told my wife, who I had at that time before she left me, told her, this is about to go down. We're about to go on a worldwide tour. Tommy Davidson just called the promoter and said, hey, man, go ahead and hook that thing up. It ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Shit about to pop. So, baby, you know, God is finally blessing us. Yeah. He's here. Right. Next day, get a phone call. When I see that phone, well, they, listen to me. I need you to hear me. When that? I, when that goddamn phone rang and I seen that promoter name on it, <laughs> nigga, I said, I said, you know what? Is God, it? you are you are alpha and omega. Ooh. Ooh, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Get the phone. I get the phone. I'm like, hey, Kenny, what's going on, man? He giggling. <laughs> he laughing. Is it like the fuck insulted laugh? What is it? What kind it's of a laugh? giggle. Why would you? I didn't say shit. 
<laughs> hey, what's up, d -Lay? Hey, what's up, Kenny? What's, what's going on, man? So you talked to Tommy last night. Yeah, what the fucking giggles? What the... What's with the... Yeah, I talked to Tommy. What's up? Yeah, man. Oh, man. Tommy doesn't want to do any shows with you. What? I'm like, you ain't going to fluff it? You ain't going to just let <laughs> Nothing. me... Nothing. He's straight. You're going to go straight to this straight motherfucker, jam. no he, chase? Oh, hey, he's gonna... straight jab with that. He said, I said, wait, Tommy doesn't want to do a show with you, man. I was like, what? What you think in your head? Nah, I just talked to Tommy last night. Good last night. I just talked to Tommy last night. He said, hey, man, this is Tommy. I'm here with D-Lay. I heard him say, he said, you want to do some shows? Go ahead. Hook it up. It ain't no. nothing but a G-Thang, baby. baby. And he said, no. He doesn't want to do a show. I was, not a big deal. Cool. Hey, man, you know what? You know, God got a different way of blessing you. Right. Still being optimistic. Cut to six months later, I'm at the Laugh Factory. And one of the comedians was like, hey, man, Tommy Davis is in here. Man, y'all should meet. I was like, I already met him. We're good. I already, you know, it's cool. I say what's up when I see him. I say, chocolate Sunday? It's Chocolate Sunday. I say what's up when I see him. All right, so he walks up. And I think I forgot who somebody was introducing us. And he was like, hey, this is D-Lay. And he was like, what's his name? I'm looking at him like, oh, you know me. What do you mean, what's his name? I was like, oh, my name is D-Lay. He was like, D-Lay? Yeah, man, looking forward to seeing you perform. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're standing there. Now you stuck. What do you, what do you mean? I'm like, is he serious? I'm like, okay. You know what? Maybe he forgot. Maybe he forgot. Maybe he fucking forgot. Saw so him again. Maybe like another three or four months later. See him out. Somebody say, hey, man, this is D-Lay. He was like, what's his name? I was like, he did it again. So I'm like, okay, you know what? We got to get the shit. We got to nip the shit in the bud. It's yeah. just getting out of hand. Yeah. Bill has a birthday party coming up. Bill Bellamy. Huge birthday party. Bill Bellamy. Everybody's there. Magic Johnson, Kid Capri's DJing. What was the, it? Um, somewhere rich. I don't know. It was somewhere where motherfuckers got a lot of money or allowed to come often. So, <clears throat> so we're in there and everybody's having a good time. And Bill's wife says to me, "Hey, Delay, you gotta meet Tommy Davidson. This is you." Got, I was like, "No, no, no. It's okay. I've already, <laughs> I've already met him. He knows who I am." Yeah. You don't have to go through this. He was like, no, come on. I just want to introduce you. I was like, no, he already know. So by the time I can get her, get her, we're there. She says, Tommy, this is D-Lay. D-Lay's on a roll with Bill. He's a funny comedian. D-Lay, this is Tommy. Tommy said, what's his name? Uh. <laughs> I said, D-Lay. He said, okay, man, looking forward to seeing you perform. I said, you motherfucker. Now, now it's brewing. Now it's brewing. Now, we got a show coming up in April. I'm sorry, in May. Who is it? If you pull that shit again, Tommy. What day? What, where is it? In Minnesota. Me, Earthquake, and Tommy Davidson. Minnesota, uh, May 14th, 11th, something like that. I don't know. I forget. One of those dates. And if he pull that shit again, I'm going to call him on that. That's enough of that. That's, you got to call him. I mean, he that's Varnell Varnell. healed you. You Varnell Varnell healed the shit out of me. me. Tommy Davis. He hit you with that too? First road show. That's who was the headliner for the first road show. A friend of my the family that I I grew up uh with, this guy Guy Black. Worked in the com name. worked in the comedy industry. He was uh one of the heads. Little short black dudes. Little short black. Yeah. Ugly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he ugly. Yeah, he, he, ugly. he, he ugly. looked like a, he looked like a black beagle. <laughs> he looks like like yeah. So he got a real stiff back, you know, yeah. things that stiff back, like, right. yeah. He, so he, I grew up watching him. He was a, a radio. Is he a comedian? He's not. He doesn't. He doesn't do stand up, but okay. he does comedy bits on the radio, and he's okay. been doing it for over like almost forty years. He'd been on radio for a long ass time. Mm -hmm. He was on radio in a very small market in a town I grew up in called Chattanooga, Tennessee, uh, on Power ninety four. He was a head. Talent morning show dude, so he be on there playing on the phone doing funny shit before Ricky Smiley was doing prank calls. This was the nigga playing on the phone. He came to our house one day because my daddy and him did a community service project and they just got cool. He was cool with our whole family. He come to the house one day, he playing on the phone doing all these characters, and that's really when I was like, I want to do silly shit like that because mm -hmm. that shit's funny. So cut to I'm doing comedy for about a year and some change. He finds out from my daddy that I'm doing comedy. He's like, I got an opportunity for you, nephew. Come to New Orleans, you're gonna you gonna open for Tommy Davidson. So I'm 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 lit, nigga. 
I, I done, I've been I've been telling everybody all week. Yeah, show this week, Tommy Davidson about to go down. Shit about to happen. Throwing yeah, I'm throwing there. it out there. I get my line. You feel brother, like you're gonna change your life though, don't you? My line brother, my ace, Paul, Paul Buxy. We we load up in my little little BMW. <laughs> it's a 94 325 I. Windows don't roll down. Mm-mm. Sunroof work, but that was cool because my AC worked. We get on I-10. We probably right outside of Beaumont, almost through through Lafayette. AC start fucking up. The mm-hmm. car start running hot. He tell me, Noop, you got to turn the AC off. It'll make the temperature go down. So now we melting. We sweat. We get all the way to our draws and drive all the way to Louisiana. <laughs> we get out, sweat. We stop at the red lights, open the door, letting the wind <laughs> blow through. <coughs> we get there, man. I got my suit. I'm ready. I go in. He said, hey, stay right here. Tell your friend you got to stay outside. Tommy about to come in. I'm hype. I'm like, this it. It's me. I'm about to I'm about to do it. And Tommy comes in. He was like, what's up, man? Yeah. I was like, hey, man. Hey, I'm what's looking up, like man? this. Um, I gave him the point. I'm like, it's you, man. Because that's the only thing I can think. That's all you got. It's you. Right. He was like, you ready for the night? I was like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm about to, I'm about to tear into their ass. Yeah, I want you to see what I'm about to do to him because right. I'm talking shit. Really, I'm scared, but I'm scared. I'm just trying to let him know I'm confident. Right, but you're not. Not confident at not all. Not like that, gotcha. I'm, I'm heart beating fast. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do. We good right to the venue now this night. I'm about to go up. He tells me, you nervous, man? I was like, no, nah, man, I'm good. He's like, come on, man, sit on the bus. Come on the bus. He got a whole tour bus, right. just him. Just him. Couch, whole room in the back. Love. He got a living room on his bus. Living room on his bus. He's like, look, man, let me tell you something. I want you to get confident about what you're about to do out there. We're the show. <laughs> it's the opening host, you and me. That's the show. <laughs> We're the show. <laughs> They're coming to see us. Yeah. Relax, man. You want something to drink? You Talk want something to drink? Shit, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I want to drink. I get a little crown. I'm sitting on a thing. I'm sitting there like, yeah. I ain't got oh, no yeah. phone. I can't take no pictures. I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. cool. He's like, look, man, while the show's going on, this is mi casa, su casa. Oh. Said some L.A. shit. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's the right I'm there. like hell yeah. Bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. I immediately, I get off the bus. I'll be right back. Go tell my line brother, Paul. Yeah, start getting them hoes. Tell them we got to get on this bus. We got to bring them through. We need to see. <laughs> I pull, I pull with me. So I'm, I'm lining them up. I'm lining them up. Who <laughs> ready to come on? Ah. So look, I get my three girls. They all right. They, I, I'm looking back. Now, no. he from LA. I'm out here in New Orleans. I'm, I'm right. getting what I can. Right. You don't know. What I don't know. I'm just these grown is. women that's amped about me and them. So he comes back. It's three women. I'm like, yeah, that time these some of my friends. Right. He's like, all right, man. Yeah, we're gonna get the show. We're gonna rock it out. I said, yeah, we're gonna do that, man. Make yourself at home. Relax. Cool. So. I go do my thing. The girls, they go inside, watch the show. Night's over. Pictures taken, all that shit. Next day, Saturday night. Day two. Day two. I'm up there early. I don't go to the back. I'm going straight to the motherfucking bus. Why? Because I'm part of the show. Absolutely. It's us. It's us. It's, it's right. us. It's just them, right? I get that. It's the opener. I get, it, yeah. It's you and it's me. Hey, so look. We're the show. I get on the bus. He ain't there because I'm early. I'm thinking he on the bus. I'm not realizing he got a whole hotel. He ain't coming till much later on. I'm all on the bus. I'm all in this shit. Laid Chill, up. Chilling. Chilling, chilling, delay. <laughs> he come in. I'm so cool. What's up, T? I done short time. Oh. What's up, he's T? He's short. <laughs> and me and we, hey, we sitting there. Me and my boy, we sitting there. I said, we're going to have a good one tonight, man. We're going to work out. Last night was cool. Tonight, we're going to take it to another level. He was like, yeah. We're going to do that. He walked in the back. <laughs> so, ah, I'm sitting there. He done went go. all the way to the back. He done closed the little, bl- pr- like, the, the privacy blinds. Right. He back there where the bed is. My uncle comes staggering on the bus. Hey, man, let me holler at you for a second. I was like, come on, man. We, we good. We feel right. He said, no, come on off the bus. <laughs> when a nigga call you like this, yeah. you yeah. got to go right away. Hey, Nigga, this mean immediately. This hey. don't mean five seconds. So, ago. look, we get up. We come off the bus. I'm standing there. I said, what's up? I'm chilling. I'm trying to get my head together right around the show. Yeah, man, come inside, man. Tommy might need to just get ready or something. I said, oh, yeah, you know what? I know what you mean. He needs some privacy. It's cool. I'll just come back later. I go do my thing. I go to go get on the bus. Got two things with me. Done pulled two out the audience because okay. I, I got some laughs tonight. Okay. Now it's a nigga at the door. This nigga wasn't here none this week. No, the same neither. nigga from it's the a front. a new door nigga. <laughs> Checking the door of the bus. Got a door checker. These niggas have hired a door checker. Yeah, so I'm, I'm walking. I'm, excuse me, partner. I'm, I'm trying to get through. 
He's standing stiff. He don't move. He's standing stiff, don't move at all. I was like, I'm trying to get on the bus. He, yeah, no. Tommy said nobody on the bus. I said, nah, He didn't nah, make eye contact with you? Nah. nah he See, did. let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story about a security dude in L.A., a bouncer, how he treated me. He didn't make eye contact with me. So immediately wife. I said, hey, man, tell Tommy, Billy out here. The show, it's our show. You know what he come back and tell me? Ooh. Tommy don't know no Billy. <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody else on this bus. Ah, I now said, ah. Tommy don't know no hey, Billy. So look, I'm standing out there. I ain't leaving. Because I got two <laughs> things with me. I done told them they on the bus with Tommy. We this the nigga is t- turning to Malcolm X. We not leaving until we see Brother Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> so look. So look. This hot. All my feelings go away. <laughs> crushed. Crushed all the way. I'm standing there. Ain't nobody changed nothing. Nigga, these girls, the wind blowing. Are we going to get to go in or what? I'm like, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Just hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. It's so, uh, my uncle, guy, he come out. He walks over, he walking. I said, God, let me let me holler at you right quick. Your boy tripping, you need to tell him. Let me on the bus. I don't know what <laughs> he think he doing. Said, tell hey, me, let me on the bus. Hey, so, well, you got to tell another nigga say, hey, tell him <laughs> to let me in. <laughs> Hey, look. You hear me? I'm looking at hey, I'm the, the, the whole now. time, though, while he gone. Uh, I'm, that's how much of a young nigga I am. I'm so green. I'm talking shit to him. Yeah, you don't know who I am. You got me fucked up. <laughs> that's our shit. Me, Tommy, and the host. That's our shit. You <laughs> no, was here. See, because what you, you don't here, understand is the host, it's me, <laughs> and it's Tommy. Tommy. You We're ain't got show. shit to do with this. You're not the show, you bro. You ain't got shit to so do with this. what you can do is, bro, with you can this. mosey over there and just go. Hey. So I'm standing there. Guy Black comes up. He said, come on, man. Let's go back inside. I said, no, nah, man. Your boy got me fucked up out here. I'm out here. I'm performing. I'm a performer, too. You may not know me, but I perform. It's uh, it's my show, too. All I hear is that tss, them air brakes on Uh-oh, that bus. That, so they're opening. No. Nah, they done put that bitch in drive. They, they, just start, they, they, done, they pull all the way around the parking lot. Park on the opposite end of the parking lot. Tommy. <laughs> just... So I'm, the girls talking about, I guess they don't want us on the bus. It's cool. We walk back inside. Still got a show Sunday. I, I didn't even do it. I ain't go back there. I, you didn't I go back to the show? No. Nah. Oh, you didn't go back to the trailer? No, I, I didn't go back to the trailer. I went to the show. I oh. did that. After that, it was kind of like a little thing. I was kind of like, this is me. That's embarrassing, man. Like, don't put me in a position to embarrass me in front of people. That's one of the worst things in the world. I get to L.A. I don't know how the club system works. I came from Vegas. The club system in Vegas is, hey, listen, if I tip the door, man, I'm going to go in. That's the deal. That's everywhere. Normally, not in L.A., nigga. You need a nah. guest list. I need you. I need your name on the guest list. They don't care about the cash. They don't care. It's the guest list. I don't know this shit. So I'm new to L.A., and my wife says, hey, listen, we got a babysitter. Let's do something. So y'all out. They don't, you know, people Let's don't go realize out. when you get a babysitter and you marry it's like prom night all over again. Because you don't yeah. know when the next time you're going to get a babysitter. You don't know when that's going to happen. No. You got to go all in. Everything needs you to happen You got to fuck. Night. Everything needs to happen Cause, this cause night. Because that's, that's, that, as a married nigga, you trying to fuck this night. Oh, you need to, because you can do it in peace. You, you can, cannot worry about you the baby. You ain't got to creep fuck. Right. You that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm college dorm room fucking. That's what right. I'm thinking in my head. Right. So I got to get as fucked up as possible. You damn near hunching. Yeah. You out all night. You Damn, you molesting your woman. Pretty much. That's what yeah, you're doing. Because you got a babysitter. I got a babysitter. And we so can we can do this all night if we want to. If we want to. Right. But we normally don't. You, you can talk this shit to me, but you normally don't do the whole damn night. No, you don't. You so, don't. I, don't know, no, no, I don't know niggas still doing it all she night. She says, let's find us. Won't you find a spot? Let's go party. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to find a goddamn spot for you. I got the spot. For you. So I look up a spot, and I was like, you know what? It seems like a cool club. Yeah. I get there, we pull up. She was like, ooh, babe, it's a long line. This motherfucker was wrapped. This motherfucker was wrapped t- twice. It was a, it was so many motherfuckers in this line. We walked past everybody. To the front. Ask me who I know, though. Who you? Who? No goddamn body. You don't know nobody. I don't know. But I'm you renegade. got your wife with you. And, and you got some money in your when pocket. I tell you, I got some money in my pocket. How much you had in your pocket? Eighty dollars. I'm walking. <laughs> I got my chest out. What you had on? I don't know, but I was sharp than the motherfucker. 
and I was I had my wife hand and was walking past people and I could hear motherfuckers like who the fuck is that? Who you think he is? I'm just like bitch, you know who the fuck it is. It's somebody, bitch. You see, I'm just walking past all you motherfucking line investigators. I'm just dipping past. <laughs> I walk past everybody. It's a long line. I'm sitting up the front and it's a big, it's a big security guard up the front, right? Yeah. And it's one. Of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain the, the front of the club to you. So I said, hey, it's probably about 1.30. Yeah. So I walk up to my man, the security. He just stand there. Uh, like what, he, which face is, what, what? He, no eye contact. Straight ahead, God damn it. He ain't got shit to do with nothing to the left or the right. He's straight ahead. So I say, hey, what's up, my man? He said, what you need? What I need? Nigga, what all them other motherfuckers in that line need? To get in this I, I need to get in this bitch. Yeah. And you got your woman with you. And yeah. I got my woman, so don't front on me, nigga, because she here. Is she here? This, this, this. She see this shit. You would have to, might have to almost fight. I might have to take this ass over because you probably got some skills on me. You a big. I said, brother, uh, just me and my lady trying to get in the club. You know what this motherfucker said to me? This is real shit. What do you say? We ain't doing shit tonight. <laughs> We ain't doing shit tonight. What, the, what, does, what that does that mean? mean? I hear the music in this motherfucker. I hear it. It's a club. I hear it. So they at this point, something. he steps back. He steps back and pulls the gate down. Ooh. You know they have like little gates on some of the clay. Yeah. You pull the gate down, right? Yeah. So now it's just me, my wife, the gate, and then this all. nigga, and all these motherfuckers I didn't shit it on as I walk past. And these motherfuckers is giggling their ass off too. So I said, "Oh shit, I got to I you ain't, ain't gonna front on me like that." And I'm about to go to my pocket, nigga. I put so this nigga came front of me. I said, "Big dog, I know what you need." So I put a twenty. I stuck that bitch through the gate, right? <laughs> I slid it through the gate just like that. That motherfucker took the other, the other part, and pulled that bitch down too. <laughs> so the club, he closed the club on me. This, they this are nigga. shut down. Nigga Fire closed the, the club on me, nigga. Woo. So what your wife doing? Nigga, I said, what you need to do is you need to go back to the car. Bring that bitch around, because I can't walk back through that crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfuckers, I just shit it on. You better go. She, she, she understood, but like she laughed at my ass in the car. Like, you in there. She nigga pull the gate down on you and shit. You talking about, like, here go 20. He was like, we ain't doing that. No, like, don't shut the fuck up. We'll fuck up this babysitter hours we got. Let's do some shit. Man, it's like, it's nothing. You know when you- I'm single, Billy. You back. I'm back in these motherfucking streets. So, so- Ragged ass. So- Pussy ass streets. Hate these motherfucking streets. You see how I got to say it? You see I went from happy to sad? When you start thinking about being single, about I being single, I was up. like, I'm single in these motherfucking pussy ass, bullshit ass, funk ass. Ho-ass I mean, streets. you know, you can do shit when you single though. That's the good. Now that's the good part. You can do some now, shit. That's, it's the you freedom can. to be able to just like, I like, nigga. I was sitting up one day. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Mexico. <laughs> and just left. Nigga, nigga, the Cosby Show just went off. I'm about to go to Mexico. Nigga, I ain't doing shit. I ain't got to an answer nobody. I ain't got hey, just, just that freedom right there. Initially, it's like it's freedom. It's like, you know, I, like I used to when like initially, like when I was newly single, I would be out. They're like, oh shit, it's twelve thirty. I gotta get back. <laughs> I gotta get back to the house. And I realized, oh shit. So that freedom, like that part, is cool. You know, to be able to do. It. But like the, I I, I like the camarad, not the camaraderie, the 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 um the the don't don't, don't help me. God damn it, I'm gonna get this word I'm on. <laughs> I miss the. Come on, help me. I can't fuck it. What's the you not, the aura? The not energy, the aura. No, the no, the sensation. No. The feeling. The the not the comforting of a woman. The the companionship. Companionship. God Ooh. damn, I'm a spelling bee champ. I can't believe myself. Yeah. You uh, missed the companionship. I missed that, I missed that about I mean, you, you know, know I mean? that's the thing, man. You 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 have that person that go through all your stories with mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. Your ups, your downs, and it go back to that world. I'm terrified. I don't. I'm not terrified because of what people gonna do. I'm terrified about what I'm gonna do. If you were to be single, yeah, on, cocaine. Hey, listen, it's gonna be a cocaine. Beer. I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of drugs, a lot of unnecessary fucking. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm hurting. No, you're not. Because now, no, look, you're not. I'm telling you, you're I, I'm, not. I, it's, it is I'm a telling free you, you're not. beast. It's not gonna be like For that. For me to be away from my family and my kids, nigga, the drugs is coming out. 
You thought Bill Cosby was bad. These bitches don't stand a chance with me out here. You doing new drugs. Hey, I'm. I, we all doing new drugs, voluntarily <laughs> or involuntarily. It ain't it ain't date rape if all of us fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got control either, bitch. We all finna do this, Molly, for the first oh time. Oh, my God. We all finna put this heroin in our system. Hey, Amen. I mean, dang a lot. If I could do some shit, like, people want, with, with, with different... Different levels of richness, you have different things you want to do. The other day, we was working on ADD and all their digital with Russell and them. He hired us because we was doing a drinking binge, a binge drinking thing, an EMT. Basically, a, a ambulance on standby just in case shit get fucked up. Basically, she had the whole kit, the the, e, the, the EKG machine, right. the, the, the shit to, to blow your chest up, right? all that whole bag. Anything go wrong, she got it right there on the spot. I want to get that much money where I can have one of them people with me. When you partying. And do all the bullshit but do I want. You, but do you understand how hard you party when you have to have a certified doctor or a some sort of MT? That's which, the type of shit I want to do. I want to be like, how much heroin is enough to bring to, to get me high but not but, kill me? But let me tell you something. Can I mix heroin and cocaine tonight? Unless you want to perish. And see, that's why I don't want to be single. Because that's yeah, the type of you, shit. You know what? And let me say something. You need that. You need that stability of a wife and the kids and all that other stuff. Like, I don't want to do that now. Because, see, if I overdose right now, I ain't I You're going to miss your money. special. You ain't going to do all right, kind of well, shit. You know, the thing about it is you want to overdose and have a fall from grace. Not right. just, like, just fall, just never make it. You never make it and you fail. Because, see, you can come back from that. Right. When you, when you, when you OD on the top and you go to the bottom and you have a drug problem, then Hollywood want to see you. Get back on top. Mm-hmm. They see that when you ain't right. made it and you start doing drugs, you're a crackhead. Yeah. That's it. Plain and simple. Yeah. Why ain't nobody called Charlie Sheen crackhead? Because he was on top of Hollywood. He had a fall from grace. Casey and JoJo, they some crackheads. Boy, did I tell you? <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't know if I told you about my Casey and JoJo. We had a show with them. It was a Valentine's Day love day fest. Oh, shit. Oh, and shit. Casey and JoJo. What year, what year is this? This pre-reality show? Or no, these niggas had a reality show called Clean and Sober. And we was on tour and they was getting fucked up. And I was like, this ain't, this is a contradiction. Clean what? and Sober, they fucked up. Nigga, my room was right next to these niggas' room and I could hear these niggas warming up. <laughs> I was like, nigga, you gonna have a long ass night. If that's <laughs> what. <laughs> I was like, God, this nigga is because I was like, God, this shit don't sound right. It don't, it don't. You know, you hear some people tuning up and be like, this nigga gonna be right by show. Kill it. Yeah. I was like, oh, this motherfucker's struggling early. So we get to the show. It's comedy. Drew Hill, Casey, and JoJo. Where, where, where's Cisco and them at? Cisco and them turned that bitch out, first of all. Blonde hair and all. That nigga brought all the thong song niggas in that dance to that motherfucker. Nigga thugs in that motherfucker dance to the thong song. They love them niggas. But the niggas, everybody waiting for us, motherfucker, clean and sober. Casey and nigga, JoJo. Nigga, Casey and JoJo. Nigga, where my boys? Bring them boys down. Nigga, they been warming up. I've been listening to the bullshit, too. I want to hear it. I want maybe them niggas' voice some change. Nigga, got a new throat or something. I don't know what the fuck. So the nigga says, listen, introduce them. They'll come down. So the host is a local guy. MC yeah. and shit. He's not a comedian. He's just a local nigga. Yeah. He says, ladies and gentlemen, everybody ready? Crowd go crazy. <laughs> Please put your hands together for the one and the only, Casey and JoJo. <laughs> Crowd going wild. <clears throat> no Casey and JoJo. Them niggas ain't come out. <clears throat> we don't know what them niggas doing. Man. It's awkward as fuck. Right. The host on the what the fuck to do? He ain't no comedian. So the clothes like get your ass back out there and reintroduce him. He was like, oh, and, and that's a tough point. I've been through that. That's Keep a tough going. one. You're I'm not a real you comedian, that. and you just a nigga that didn't put out front. And now something goes awkward, and you don't have the comedic chops to do that. Right. You in a situation. He sends him back out. He said, "Sorry about that, guys. Um, now they're ready. Now, now you guys ready for KC and JoJo? <laughs> put your hands together for KC, JoJo." <laughs> No Casey and JoJo. Ain't nowhere in the goddamn. <laughs> These niggas ain't came out yet. I go upstairs to see what's going on because my dressing room right next to their dress. These niggas arguing. They arguing. Full out arguing. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to sing that motherfucker. My lady. Sing, sing it third. 
Finally, the niggas come down. He said, listen, take your ass back out there and introduce them niggas. Here they go right here. KC and JoJo. KC, the little skinny nigga, he got on a suit so goddamn big. This nigga suit. <laughs> All this that shit. men's warehouse ass suit. This nigga is rocking. Big. Man comes out, introduces KC and Joso, JoJo. They come out. They're singing. They're doing good. They're hitting him with the hits. Now, it's getting later in the show. KC starts to sing. If you think you're lonely now. Oh, shit. That's a Bobby Womack song. Bobby Womack song. But he does it in his own fashion. He, uh. he takes off his shirt. He has a tank top on. Uh. That motherfucker's loose. Loose okay. tank top. It's loose than a bitch. The drugs is flowing. That motherfucker got on a blouse. Tank top. Tank top. So he says, give my security over here. He gets on the security guard's neck. He's walking around the security guard's neck singing, if you think you're lonely now. Singing the shit out of the song, too. Killing this motherfucker. JoJo just on stage ain't doing shit. Nigga don't know what to do. So JoJo says, hey, hey, the crowd paid to see two brothers on stage singing. Get your little ass on stage. Casey said, they paid to see two people singing, but only one nigga singing. When are you going to start singing? So they back and forth, back and forth. So finally, all these is like, what the fuck is going on? JoJo can't sing. They go get Drew Hill to come back and help these niggas finish the song. Finish it out, but Casey says, I'm going to close it out. With the, uh, I want to freak you. We can't finish it out because my brother can't sing, but I want to finish it out with I want to freak you. The lady's going crazy. Yeah. Drew Hill still up there? Drew Hill, yeah, get your ass off. Casey got this. You all bitches move. Everybody get the fuck out of the way. This is Casey. Casey got this tank top on. It's loose. He and that bitch. I want to freak you. They break it. Boom. Da. I want to freak you. And that nigga said, that nigga grabbed that shirt. He said, he went to rip that bitch. And, the, and he didn't have the strength to rip that bitch. So he took that bitch off like a slip on the side <laughs> of it. <laughs> and stepped out that bitch. I said, no. I swear on my life. I'm sitting there watching this shit. Got a real life, got a reality life, reality TV show called Clean and Sober. And they fucked up. Fucked up on tour. Fucked man. up on tour. Man, I'm going to drink to that, brother. Drink I'm to that. Drink. Hey, man, listen. I think this could be the start of many shows. I like this, man. It feels good. It's natural. Mm. And the beverage is smooth. It's smooth? Yeah, it's smooth. We can't even say the name on it, can we? We can have one to this capacity. Okay. I saw that Hennessy, that Hennessy was, was, was forty two ninety nine. I couldn't pay it. Hennessy is forty two ninety nine. It's out here. It's up there. And they, they always hit you with, the, oh, we out of that size bottle. The nineteen dollar bottle, we out of that one. They always got the bigger bottle that costs more. They want to hit you with them first, then they they peel them out later in the night. Mm -mm. But now I had a similar situation with Ron Isaac. I'm in Houston. Ron Isaac. Ron Isaac. This the day after his brother died. His brother dies. One dies. He looks like he don't take no shit. Listen, he had a, he had a road manager named Gorgeous George. Gorgeous George got to be. He nigga sound like he hundred. Seventy. He sound hundred. He sound hundred. Let me tell you about Gorgeous George. Gorgeous George tells me, I said, how'd you meet Ron? He says, ah, oh, man, I was out with Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke been dead for 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I said, I was out with Sam so Cook. you referenced some shit from 50 years ago? He said, I was out with Sam Cooke, Cook. like it happened yesterday. yesterday. You know I was out with Sam Sam Cooke been dead you know, 50 years. <laughs> Nigga. So I'm like, man, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, man, man, Ron, I've been, been real tight. He said, you go out there, man. You got this pizzazz. He says pizzazz. <laughs> you know how old you got to be to say pizzazz? You got the pizzazz. Brother, you got the pizzazz. You got the showmanship. Give them what they came to see. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm about to give it to them. I go out there. I hit them with a high 20. Yeah. High 20. That's all he told me. He said, you got 15. I know this ain't no light. So I'm, I'm going to run this other motherfucker. Right. I got this five. Bam, I'm at 20. Only got 40 minutes of material. Right. Let me say this from the start. I only got, at this time, 40 minutes of material. Mm -hmm. So I pushed that 20, 20 piece out on him. Um, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you ready for the incomparable one, the only, Ronald motherfucking Isley. You said motherfucking Isley? I've been drinking. They gave me a tab. <laughs> he, he's, he's, Wait a minute. <laughs> He, he you said it like you niggas been on tour for years together. <laughs> the what? The only Ronald motherfucking. I'm like, what the fuck did that young man say? 
Yeah. So they they looking at me with the they they still clapping though. Right. The dude who running the arena theater name is Daryl Austin. Daryl says, "Hey man, he's getting on. He's got a wardrobe issue. Keep going. Stretch it out. <laughs> Stretch it out. <laughs> oh shit. So I say." Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. <laughs> y'all ain't ready. Uh, y'all, ain't ready. Y'all, y'all ain't ready. Y'all, y'all ain't, ain't ready, ready for Ronald motherfucking Isley. Y'all ain't ready. Let me tell you about my life. So I go. <laughs> <laughs> so I dig off into the last, the last 15 I got. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> did you say let me tell you about my life? <laughs> <laughs> Sweat dripping. I'm nervous. I'm like, nigga, I ain't never and, with this. And, and running out of shit. Running out of shit. And running out of so shit. So look. So I'm like, I'm straight. I hit him with another 15 piece. I only got 40 minutes of material. Oh, I done did 35, 35 minutes up, of yeah. material. I only got five minutes left, D-Way. I got five minutes left. <laughs> 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 ain't no light in sight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a scary feeling. I'm they not. won't light him. Like, what are y'all doing back there? You stop, you'll say, I'm gonna get back to my jokes, but when are y'all gonna like me? I'm running out of shit. I ain't got nothing left. Oh. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm gonna be honest with you, as a comedian, I got this five minutes left. And what starts creeping into your brain is all the funny shit you don't ever see on TV. <laughs> it's like, if they don't come get me, this I'm gonna be the. <laughs> to a commercial. I'm about, I'm about to, to sing every commercial <laughs> yeah, that I've ever known. Every joke I've never seen. <laughs> I'm about to do Sinbad, <laughs> Martin Lawrence. I start scattering. So I'm like, I get through about three minutes. He's like, okay, okay, they ready. He gave me the thumb. I said, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage right now. They travel the globe for years and years and years. But they're here for you tonight. Mm-hmm. Give it up. Everybody, matter of fact, stand on your feet. Oh, they, one of them. They all on their feet. How big is the place? They want 3,500 seats. <laughs> <laughs> Week packed. It's, it's full house. Full. Bun B there. I come off the stage. He dabbed me up. Young blood, you did your thing. I said, appreciate it, B. I'm standing about it in the in the little, the little hallway. They still clap. I'm freaking out. I'm like, well, I guess they're gonna come out eventually. Cause I only Why got Why did you leave the stage? Cause they told me come off. Oh. And so they started playing like a little instrumental. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nigga, nothing. I'm at the door that goes to the back to the dressing room. Right. I'm like, well, what the fuck? DA, he pacing. He pacing. He talking to the DJ. They talking. No Ronald Isley. Gorgeous George. He getting popcorn. He got popcorn. <laughs> he looking like the show ain't even be nowhere near over. He done come, he come back with some popcorn. I walk up and say, George, the people, man, they waiting on Ronald. <laughs> oh, man, come on back here. Come on back here. Come on back come here. On back. He might be ready. I was trying to get his suit right. So I get back to He's sitting at the table. I walk in. Mind you. Full spread of food. I want you to imagine a food display to feed 40 people. None of the shit been touched. I'm talking about the plastic still on the mixed vegetables. Right. Salad to the brim. Nobody in this goddamn dressing room. None of the Isley brothers. Just Ronald. It's a Celtics and Clippers game on. <laughs> He's sitting there like this. <laughs> Now it's right here. La, da, 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 da. And he got a cup on the on the <laughs> table. It's hot water with a little lemon and it's some honey in there. He, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna hit that. George, what you think? How it sound? La da 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 da. He won't George, make that thing up. George, it sound good. Keep in mind, <laughs> you've been introduced him. This hey, this four minutes of instrumental and clapping. I said, excuse me, Mr. Osley. He's in no rush. None. I said, Mr. Osley, I hate to disturb you. <laughs> but the I, people are, I hate to disturb you. But the people are waiting. <laughs> Hit him with the King Joffrey joke. Look, look. Let them wait. Look, look. <laughs> he got, look, he like this. All I can see is this ponytail right here in these shades. He says, young man, the people are always waiting. <laughs> 
I said, oh, shit. This nigga ain't coming out. This nigga ain't coming out. And that is <laughs> the reason why uh, I asked. Hey, he said, what'd he say, man? Hey, he said, he said, the people are always waiting. <laughs> the people are always waiting. He, uh, I went outside. Them people had started sitting down, but some were still clapping. He took the slowest stroll onto that stage and woe them people ass out to an up. hour. Took a break at an hour. Said, you know, I lost my brother yesterday. But you think I'm going to stop this show? Starts, this is Mr. Biggs. Wow. How you doing, Mr. P-? And whoa. And she said, out. young man, the people are always waiting. They always waiting. That is hilarious. Or they ass out. And that's when I realized, I was like, you know what? It's the difference between being popular, the difference between being a celebrity, and it's the difference between being a star. star. Mm-hmm. Ron Isaac's star. Oh, yeah. Ego. Fuck about what the people are doing. He knew. He didn't give a fuck. There wasn't no money giving gave back. He he was there. That's it. He look, you doing something fifty years, you got it. And I know all he probably wanted to ask them people when the show was over, drop the mic and say, Did you miss me? <laughs> Boy, that thing was good. That was good. That felt good. It felt good. In my spirit. That was uh episode one, season one. Did you miss me?